Good evening. This is Ukrainian.com and I'm Tola and and my name is Anton and uh, today uh, we are uh, already for the second day or probably the third day in uh, already third day. Yeah, in Budapest, Hungary and we are uh, talking with uh, Mark Kovac, uh, the Couchsurfing ambassador in Budapest. Uh, Mark, hello. Hello, I'm Mark. <laughs> hello. Hello, Mark. I'm Tola. So, uh, we actually just came um, back here to Mark's place from a Couchsurfing uh, weekly meeting in the city and uh, uh, people who use Couchsurfing, uh, they probably know what it is. Uh, Mark is the uh, ambassador of Couchsurfing. What, what does it even mean? I became an ambassador on November, in November of 2011 and uh, I had to make an application why I wanted to be a ambassador. Mm -hmm. the, my first goal was just to develop the community and help the travelers. And basically this is the exercise of the ambassadors that you 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 got much more emails because mm -hmm. uh, somebody as a foreigner just search in a city, mostly they just would like to find the ambassadors and they write them emails. For example, uh, many Germans wrote me uh, or Chinese many journalists, they wanted to know more about Hungarian politics or lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you already kind of represent the city and the country. Yes, and they asked me many times about public transport and the life of... So you're kind of the to-go person when yes. it comes to Budapest. Uh, and uh, it also is your kind of responsibility now to organize something like these weekly meetings that you're doing? Um, I don't know exactly. Or you just do it. I, I just, I just do it. Because, yeah, naturally. Because the, the one of the problem with this ambassador uh, stuff that that there's no control, so they don't check your uh, activity. Yeah, like what you are actually. Doing. Yes, for example, theoretically you should log in like every three days, I think. Mm -hmm. But I there are many ambassadors who like didn't log in the last. Two months. Okay, so uh, Budapest is uh, the capital city. Like, how many ambassadors of Budapest there are? I think it's around eleven. Okay, so it's not two or three. It's no, no, it's not two or three. But uh, most of them they're not so active. They became ambassador mm -hmm. like five years ago, and then mm -hmm. they like get a new job or they get yeah, a family, so mm -hmm. they are not so active. So, do you know like amount of the active ambassadors? Yes. And uh, do you, I uh, you know, split some tasks? Yeah, how do you guys coordinate? Yeah. Is it just something that, okay, I feel like organizing this weekly meeting, so I'm just doing that, and they're doing whatever they want? Yes, everybody can do what they yeah. want. So it's just crowdsourcing, I could say. Yes. It's just volunteering. So there is no, like, uh, the main ambassador who, who said, who okay, you're right doing it. that stuff, and you need to do that stuff? No, no, it's, it's very democratic. Like a managing. Okay. No, there's no, and we don't get uh, any mm, emails from the from San Francisco mm -hmm. or from the headquarters that we should do something or we shouldn't do yeah, something. Like the management. Yeah. Well, no, no, okay. Sorry. Well, uh, let's get to uh, pretty much the hosting. Uh, being such an active couch surfer, uh, it means that uh, you host a lot. Like. Uh, do you remember how many people you actually already hosted? Yes, I think you are the 112 guest, 112 and 113 guest. Okay, sure. uh, 113 person or a group? Person, I always count uh -huh. person. So uh -huh. sometimes they are travelers, so they travel with their friends or girlfriend, yeah. and they don't have own profile, but they, but they also count them. Okay, yeah, sure. Good. So that these people. Wow, and uh, you started, uh, you just signed up for Couchsurfing how long ago? Uh, five years ago. Five years. Okay, so what was the reason to start it? Uh, the, f the reason that I started traveling and one of my friends just told me that uh, there is a possibility to to write these people and then you can mm -hmm. get to know them and mm -hmm. uh, maybe you will uh, you will hang out and mm -hmm. invite each other. Yeah. And uh, and first I was uh, surfing in Macedonia mm -hmm. with an American girl, and it was very very funny because uh, she hosted around 
uh, eight people in the same time wow. in a two two bedroom apartment, and I stayed, I slept in a, in a kitchen with another guy. Mm -hmm. But but she told me in advance that uh, she will be crowded, so it was yeah. a big surprise. So so I didn't expect uh, more comfort. Mm -hmm. So it was very nice. Yeah, but it was fine for that moment. For yes, you. of course. Okay, yeah. So uh, do you feel that the couch surfing changed somehow for that long time? Either like uh, changes in like may maybe even the concept. Of yeah, the concept, the idea. How how do people understand that? Understand it. Is that changing? I think yes. Um, many old couch surfers who who are more experienced than me, they they usually kept claiming about the members that they are not the same what it was like seven years ago. And of course, the green, the grass was greener. And yes, of of course, everything is changing. And yeah. and uh, and now I also feel because I remember five years that, that uh -huh. now it's not the same than it was. Okay. So I think couch surfing. Uh, first, it should be uh, like uh, mm, how like uh, hospitality exchange, yeah. mm -hmm. but now this uh, counseling goes to like uh, meeting and make friends and activities. Mm -hmm. But it's also good because many people don't have possibility to travel or to mm -hmm. host because they live their families, so they can also participate in counseling. But uh, I think the first goal of of counseling that you should host, you should have travelers uh -huh. mm -hmm. and accommodation should travel. Yes. So there is like connection between someone who can and willing to tra to help travelers and travelers who need help. Yes. Huh. So okay. you are saying that uh, nowadays through couch surfing, more and more people just hang out. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, which is not a bad thing either. Yeah, it's not a bad thing either, but but uh, they are, um, but it's it becomes less specialized to, to what. Yes. Uh -huh. Now it's like six million members, I think, or five million. In the last one and a half years, uh, the members of the culture thing uh, grew like one million. So it's mm -hmm. it's uh, now it's, it's quite uh, prosperous, but it's growing. Mm -hmm. It's growing, but most of the members don't know what what I got five years ago. All right. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's just uh, talk about numbers that uh, everybody is interested in. So, uh, how many requests do you get, say, per week, average? It depends on, for example, last weekend I, uh, I didn't log in for like 12 hours and I got nine requests. Mm, but not bad. <laughs> it's uh, summertime, so there are so many requests. and. Uh, okay. And the couch surfing uh, searching engine has a very special method how you can. Do you know how it actually works? Uh, I knew, it but it's a mystery for me. I spent half a day today on couch surfing looking for Croatia and Italy. <laughs> so there's a. Um, in a group, they, they describe how it works. So, okay. so there are like uh, periods, I think. Like for one week you got so many requests and then the next week you don't get any for mm -hmm. because, so it, because it means the, the system wouldn't display you anymore when people search. Uh, what? Kind of so, so if you already accepted or just received that many requests, you will become kind of invisible to new yes. servers. Yes, that's because then you will have guests and okay. maybe you are tired. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, but for example, I got nine, and I cannot. I okay, so you got nine requests, and then it says on your profile that you have to write in your request, "Judy and popular friend." Yes. Which I figure I did write as soon as we we're here this time. <laughs> so out of those nine, how many did write? Uh, well, I think like three out of nine. Uh -huh. So about thirty percent. Yes. People usually do it. Yes. Uh, uh, I. It's like very. Mm, stupid trick that that uh, the surfer can prove that they read yeah. the request. Well, but the, it, the it is very very uh, widely used now. Yes, so much so basically it's not so so it's not a problem if somebody write me a copy paste request because I understand that they are 
maybe they are mm -hmm. big travel yeah. and big. You are really nice ambassador. <laughs> yeah, and I guess, for example, you, you are in Budapest and I guess you don't want to spend time like sitting in front of the computer and uh, you can go yeah. to the spa. Yeah, and especially when people and... have these profiles. Yes, yeah. Yeah. it's very strange that, that many ambassadors, who are quite experienced people, they, they put so many like yeah, they uh, put like ten pages GIF and and many pictures and like it kind of follow and link and links and yes and, and, and go and there register there and then just yes. send me a request please yeah so so they they yeah. it's so complicated so you're just taking it yes yeah. you know, it don't have to be too serious like us yeah because yeah you know uh, last March I'm looking for hosting the three cities. And I did send about 200 requests uh, for, I know, two weeks. Yeah, and I re I, I've got a, like three hosts, one per each city. So it, it, it really takes a lot of time. And if I would read all that profiles, all that huge profiles of the people who just deny me, uh, refuse, so I don't know, maybe I, I'll go crazy. Yeah, and it's a, and it's not a problem if somebody copy paste, but I don't like when somebody's like playing like fake that you are amazing person and you I'm so uh, hilarious in your profile. But so sometimes I can see that it's very fake. So you just have to be honest. And and do you know what Judean uh, popular front means? Not really. Ah, okay. So no idea. And this is also a nice uh, start to to start a conversation. To just have something. Yes, and common. and it, it comes from uh, Monty Python's film Life of Brian. Ah, okay. Uh, we can see <laughs> after uh -huh. the uh -huh. like very short skin uh -huh. about uh -huh. about the political movements and mm -hmm. it's so funny that that and there's one one nation I mean, which is uh, suppressed by the Romans mm -hmm. and they don't fight against the, the enemy, they fight with each other, mm -hmm. previously. Alright. Okay. So, uh, uh, as far as I understand, you love the uh, Monty Python show? Yes. Uh, do you know what the thing is named after Monty Python? No. No, the language Python. Okay. Let's ah, go. like the, the program? I mean, yeah. Okay. I don't Yeah, it's, ca it's called after it. Monty Python. It can be your co-surfing password. Yes. No way. <laughs> it's impossible. Uh, okay. And uh, then there was like a second big part which we wanted to talk with you about. Uh, is your trips to Ukraine? Because we're making uh, interviews with people generally who went to Ukraine and we asked them what they thought. So uh, you told me that you only went to Odessa and uh, that was when? In 2008. Uh -huh. And uh, how and why? And I, I traveled, I mean, I had this um, job for two weeks in Transylvania and I found out that I, I should go to Moldova because that time they cancelled the visa for Hungarians. Uh -huh. So I went there and uh, there I met uh, one Swedish and French guy at my host place. And uh, after we visited Moldova, the Swedish guy told me that uh, we, should, we should go to Odessa. So I joined him and uh, went there. But it, it was just like a one day trip because then I got a message from my boss that I should go home earlier. So it was just a very short experience. But in okay. uh, the next week I'm going to Kiev. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. While well, we're going away from Kiev, and we're yeah. coming to Kiev, and uh, so many of people are. But that is not the destination. Yes, I'm going to Belarus. Uh, I quite why for? <laughs> like people actually do go to Belarus. I just just for fun. But when I say for fun, it's like they don't understand really. Uh, most of my friends are going to like uh, Italy or Croatia, uh, <laughs> like us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to the seaside, yeah. <laughs> and uh, for example, mm, I usually travel with very unique places because I, I when I travel, I always want to see different non, countries. Non mainstream. Non mainstream. Yes. Uh huh. And uh, for example, when I went to uh, 
uh, Iran. Many people ask me why I went there and I told them I had Chador fetish. <laughs> <laughs> and I also talked to my girlfriend and I mean she didn't understand the joke and she went crazy that I'm going to <laughs> yeah. so Iran and there are so many there will be so many women and uh, Maybe I would flirt that so I mean, <laughs> she, she became very jealous. <laughs> so it yeah. was fun. Okay. And in Turkey you lived for some period of time? Yes, yeah. In 2008 I spent my Erasmus. Aha, uh -huh. super. And you studied uh... sociology as my like my major in Budapest. Mm -hmm. cool. So uh, what do you expect to see in, uh, in Belarus? So you do have some expectations about things you wanted to see? Yes. Uh, it's kind of like very like uh, very grey. I imagine mm. it's very grey, but it will be summer, and uh, so it will be grey and hot. Yes, uh -huh. and uh, and people like a little bit uh, mm, scary or frightened. Stressed. They, they don't stressed. They don't <laughs> want to talk with foreigners, maybe because they will be in danger because there are so many secret agents. Uh -huh. On the streets, and uh, uh -huh. they don't want to talk to me about politics, and they don't uh -huh. want to talk about their lives to me. Okay, so mm. are closed people. So yes. Uh -huh. So uh, is, this is your fear. After your words, I wanted to ask why you wanted to go to the North Korea. No, I, I didn't want to go, but uh, for different reason. Oh, it, it, it doesn't say that you. Yeah, actually, yeah, I mean, but by, by that, because uh, you just explain, you just described North Korea, but not the. No, I. Yeah. No, I, I, I describe uh, Transnistria. You know, the border was separated mm -hmm. two countries, yeah, yeah. and, and I, we spent one afternoon in in uh, Tiraspol, and for me it was very strange that we were foreigners, and and every and at the border, but they were very suspicious that why we wanted to visit like this country. And we just we just to go look around, but they didn't believe us, so they they thought that we must be secret agents, I guess. And then we went there, and uh, and so it, I I guess there are more Russians there in than in Moldova, mm -hmm. but but the the habit of the people was very different from the Moldovans, so I. I guess it will be similar to uh, to, to Transnistria than in like uh -huh. Belarus. All right, but back to Ukraine. So uh, one day, Odessa. So what's the image of Ukraine in one day? I don't know five words, three words. Uh, they are beautiful women everywhere. All right, mainstream. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the stairs of Pachyomkin. Uh huh. You know that uh, yeah. the, the film. I don't know the exact name. And uh, that time, the old town was re re renovated. Uh, in Odessa. In Odessa, yes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and the the people like except the girls, like in general. <laughs> people except the girls. Who is that? Oh, including <laughs> the girls. Including the girls. I mean, they were very friendly. For example, you. Okay. okay. I'm not a human. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's two of us tonight. Yeah. It's just I don't know what. And uh, I mm, took a train to to chop. Right. Mm -hmm. And the people were very friendly, and they invited me their food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. During the long trip. Yeah. I'm not really sure about the poor area, but about dangerous areas. Like Chernobyl, do you want to go there? Maybe after. Actually, the guy I talked to yesterday at the meeting, he was so excited about it. The uh, guy in the Italia t shirt. Yeah, he's trying, yes, yes. Yes, he would tell everybody that they want to prep yet. And, uh, t and, and prep it wants you. <laughs> yes, I, I, I would like to visit, but maybe after my age 50, because when I. Huh. Uh, made all of my children, so I don't want to make harm for them. I know, but it, it, now it's not dangerous, but yeah, but who knows, so for me... I know, you I, still, you still I want to say it. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. So, yeah, don't touch him. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I have not been to touch me. 
Yeah. And uh, okay, this is a question that uh, really interests us. Uh, how does one get the couch surfing t-shirt? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I applied um, half year ago uh, through the website that because I am quite active member and I make so many activity. Right. Make make so many meetings. And I applied to San Francisco to the headquarters that I would I would like to get a package and then but I didn't know what it means and then it, then after three months they they sent me a t-shirt and a big uh, molino a poster mm -hmm. this new new logo and stickers and uh, mm, I don't know like this plastic uh, oh, bracelet exactly, yeah. bracelet bracelet yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. wow. Cool. Yeah. Okay. And just for the dessert, uh, for our viewers and guests uh, who probably want to go to Hungary and uh, hang out here, uh, what Hungarian words are really survival skills? Like, what do you need to know to speak? Mm, I think you can survive, but the most important words, like, köszönöm, kérek egy shirt. Uh -huh. It means I uh, would like to, would like a beer, and uh, and I would like two beers. <laughs> yes, and maybe you can like tetsika mosolyod. It means I like your smile. So when you flirt yeah, with the girls, that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or just throw it down, or just yeah. anything. And uh, yeah. but basically, as a foreigner, the life is quite different, mm -hmm. yes. and uh, and. Most of the Hungarians are quite tolerant and uh, open for it. Yeah, but I really was able, because it's yeah. my first time in Hungary, uh, I was able to notice that people really understand that their language is so hard. That's why they treat you like, okay, people just speak to you in English. Like yeah, that. but they like it when you try something uh -huh. small, <clears throat> yeah. but not really big. <laughs> I mean, just anything you yeah. can go. So, uh, can you tell us the uh, hardest Hungarian word in your mind? Oh, yes, uh, there's, I guess it exists in, exists in every language at the longest word, yeah. but we don't use this. It's like, uh, I think, 44 uh, letters. Oh, okay. Wow. Well. No. Megszentségtelen ítetetlenséges kétekért. What is it that was? What does it really mean? I give up. Is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, have a sense, at least. Is that, a, is that a name of a small rural village no, train no. station? It's like uh, you know that the Hungarian language uses suffix. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, language. Yes, yeah. and there is uh, the 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 root of the this word is like uh, saint. It means saint. <laughs> Oh, and then, then in the word we make it like to a verb, and then we put many suffix. Okay. So that means that has something to do to sanctify like yes. whatever it is in English. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. But for example, mm, different, different difficult word. Uh, it's, it's also difficult for. Oh, uh, that for it not. Uh -huh. Because s and s after it, it's not so easy. Uh -huh. I guess you could the key. Uh, something like this. Okay, so why is of course thermos edition? Uh, Does it have any parts in it or is it yes. just one word? Uh, no, it's uh, it's very strange. Thermos means nature. Uh -huh. So it is natural. Like naturally. Like naturally. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we put some suffixes to make uh -huh. it. So <laughs> just make it obvious. Yeah, okay. if, if you wanted to. All right. Make some Hungarian word, just put the root and add some add random some. amount of suffixes, and you will get <laughs> yes. proper Hungarian word. And I think this is the longest uh, Hungarian city's name is Hódmezővásárhely. Uh, mm -hmm. What part of Hungary is it? It's in the south east. Mm -hmm. South east. Close to the Romanian border. border. Okay. No, uh, it, it, it's close to Seged. But uh -huh. then you will go to the south. Mm -hmm. Go the other way. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm.
Wow. So what about your lovely word? Uh, I have last question about your lovely Hungarian word. I, I think there should exist some. But we are very proud that it sounds nice. Mm -hmm. um, not exactly your one, not a, you know, maybe you have a different one. Mm -hmm. There is a... I read a, a thesis that the, the most beautiful word Hang your word is joint. Mm -hmm. It means uh, pearl. Mm -hmm. okay. Joint. And it it's also a female name in Hungarian. Mm. Lovely. Yeah, it's. I mean, this sounds very special. This J and uh, and G together. Okay. And U. <laughs> U. Yeah. Is it a long U? No, a like, short. Like with oh. an F. Okay. Yeah. You know what I just thought? You are Tolik Kovel and he is Mark Kovac. Like, uh, and you are Anton Tutko. <laughs> like your last name, uh, what does it mean? Uh, my Kovac. Kovac is like, it, it comes from Slavic. It's okay. like Smith. Smith, okay. Yes, yeah, exactly. So you are another Kuznetsov. <laughs> Kuznetsov? <laughs> That's the name? Oh, Kovac. Means uh, Smith also. Smith. Ah, okay. <laughs> and yeah. then the, my my family name is the fourth most uh, uh, the most widespread widespread in Hungary. Mm -hmm. So it's very. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there was there so many Slavs there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's, hung, the Hungary is like a mixture of Slavs, uh, Germans, um, Italians, Jewish gypsies. Wow, like transcripts. Mm -hmm. You are talking about gypsies. No, I never talk about gypsies. <laughs> <laughs> you don't simply show that to me. <laughs> but I really like it. You have a strange face after that. <laughs> I have a strange feeling inside. <laughs> so just a face. Okay, so it's 1.20 a.m. So I think that would be a good point to say thank you to Mark. Yeah. Um, You're welcome. <laughs> Anytime if you yeah. come here yes. again and visit Budapest more long, just write me and I try to post you. It will be a great thing because I really wish to visit Budapest for two years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, and uh, we wish you a great trip uh, through our country to yeah, Belarus okay. and uh, to enjoy it and uh, yes, to get many experiences and impressions. Yeah, have fun and try anything you wish in there. Yeah, so thank you very much, Mark. You're welcome. Yeah. Have you. a nice journey. Thank yeah. you, you and, too. And that was Mark Kovac, uh, the Couchsurfing Ambassador in Budapest, Hungary. And uh, I am Anton Dudko. And I'm Anatoly Koval. And you just watched a Ukrainian.com kitchen uh, cast. Did they just say Ukrainian? No, mine because it's Ukrainian. Okay, it's kitchen cast. And uh, that was really the most kitcheny kitchen cast because you just. The kitchen is the center of this apartment. Yeah. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Whoa. Yeah, I'm just.